Today, I'm gonna to be destroying every raid boss in Blocks Fruits, but there's more. I'm gonna be opening One Piece card packs, and whatever character we get from the pack decides what fruit we use. So before we get into the video, we gotta give credit where credit's due. Shout out to Koopa Cool, he did this idea first. And with that said, let's go fight some boss. Here's the list of raid bosses we're gonna be fighting throughout the video, and the first one is surprisingly the Saw boss. I, I didn't even know this is a raid boss, to be honest. And all right, for the first pack, see what we get. Okay, we get some, what is this, a random marine? What the heck? Okay, we got Nami in the background, some random dog. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, yeah, we can do absolutely Absolutely nothing with this guy. Bartolomeo. Oh my god. Don't tell me we're gonna have to use barrier. And we get I don't know who that is. So it's barrier it is. Unfortunately, I don't have a barrier for permanent, so I gotta eat this one physical. There we go, right there. Also, so we can make this more challenging as well. I'm gonna be matching my stats to the boss I'm fighting. And alrighty, without further ado, I just spawned the saw boss right there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Barrier wall. Damn, that did absolutely no damage to that boy. Alright, you know what, bro? You know, bro. Let's just keep spamming our abilities. This one's gonna be a breeze. There's nothing exciting about this boss fight, I'm gonna be honest. So let's just make this quick. Damn, damn. Bro, kind of fight back a little bit. Bro, kind of fight back a little bit. Hold on, hold on. It's all fun and games. So I hit you with that surprise attack. That's pathetic, bro. They didn't even hit him. Oh my god. All right, let me see him with that all 389 damage. Not bad, not bad. Let me hit him with these god human moves. Boom. Get here, bro. Get here. Boom. Typhoon toss. Barrier prison. Boom. Get him over here. Barrier wall. Last but not least, this should kill him. Never mind. I didn't kill him. What about this? What about this? Barrier wall. Bro, I'm stuck. I'm, I got stuck in my own damn barrier. Isn't that crazy? Barrier wall. Surprise attack. Boom. Barrier prison. And this should be it. There we go. Oh, we also got Shark Saw. Nice. Not gonna lie. Uh, that first raid boss is definitely underwhelming. I don't even know how they consider Shark Saw raid boss. But even with them out the way, we still have a bunch more to go. Speaking of which, next up, we have the gray beard or white beard boss. Now, this one's gonna be a little tougher to find because you guys see right here he only spawns every six hours four hours if one player doesn't leave the server we are in a brand new server right here but i ain't waiting for four hours we're gonna do some server hops but before that even we have another pack to open so pack number two here pack number two let's see what one we get from this is this smoker oh wait, no that's not smoker i actually have no idea who that is bro comment down on who this is this is cool art though i'll give it that oh yo we got admiral sengoku in his prime buddha nah that's toxic buddha against Greybeard is gonna be fire okay so we have that in our back pocket in case we don't get anything else good uh, I think this is a guy from Wano, a samurai from Wano. Let's see. Wait, is that Kizaru? Yo. Okay, okay. We have two good choices to choose from. We have a choice between Sengoku and Kizaru, though. Otherwise saying Buddha and Light. I'm going to go with Buddha. I'm going to be honest, bro. So one easy method to find Greybeard. Oh, yo, that is insane. My first server hop, we already get Greybeard. Nah, that's crazy. Hold on. We need, we need to capitalize this. We need to capitalize this. He has a despawn time of 10 minutes. I don't know how long he's been here. Let's quit Buddha. Let's get it. Let's get it. Good thing I have Unawakened Buddha. We're in first C, so it makes sense. I can't even use any of my Buddha moves. I have this Unawakened. I have to use my fighting style bro this will also be a good time for me to mention every time i die i have to give away the permanent of the fruit i'm on so if i die i have to give away a permanent buddha boys i do not want to do that great beard has 303,000 health and he's actually a tough boss let me hit him with the guy who moves boom this boy's pcing me up bro i'm only have 2700 health left hold on hold on i gotta chill i gotta chill. use my angel v3 moves so guitar abilities in there he's almost about half health he's almost about half health i do not want to die bro if i if i ended up dying on the second raid boss that'd be crazy what i don't want is this guy to disconnect or despawn i don't know how long he's been here i just joined this server he happened to be in the first one i joined Joined in. He only stays around for like 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Okay, boom, pack him up there. There we go. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. I don't know how long he got left before he's to these. Damn, damn. Oh my god, my health, my health, my health. Let me hit him with my shark kicker abilities. Yes, yeah, sir. Spamming all my abilities on this man. 10,000 health, boys. 10,000 health. Let me hit him with that. Us, 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 us. There he goes. Packed him up. Sheesh. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The difference between the saw boss versus the white beard boss was night and day. That was a struggle right there. And to be honest, boys, it only gets harder from here. But that is the white beard boss crossed off. Next up, we have the dark beard boss, which is in second C. Now, dark beard is also gonna take us a while to get because in order to even spawn him, you need a fist of darkness, which those of you boys who know, you need to wait four hours in a second C server in order to get a fist of darkness. But before we were about that, though let's get to our third pack pack number three let's see what we get i'm gonna need a good one for this because dark beard is not an easy boss by any means let's see what we get here yo is this could this be considered t-rex hold on let me think no that's a fishman that's that one fishman for fishman island arc okay we have this guy again and then we get pudding Ooh, that card <laughs> that card kind of crazy Sheesh. Uta, sound the sound fruit this helps us a lot Sheesh. we're not losing against graybeard bro I, or at least i don't think we will but for the fruit we'll be using we have the sound fruit all right we're in second c and now we have two choices we can either afk for two hours or we could cb's farm which has a one percent chance of dropping the fist of darkness your boy ain't just gonna sit here doing nothing we're going to cb's farm boys so let's set out to see let's see what we find been waiting here almost 10 minutes and no cb's dog where they at? Where they at, bro? Here we go. Finally, a CB's. Finally. Okay, okay. Let's quickly just pack this boy up. 
Imagine I got the Fist of Darkness first try. Wouldn't that be a blessing, bro? Would that not be a blessing? One more move, Magma Hound, and we didn't get the damn Fist of Darkness. All right, let's just keep doing this over and over again. <laughs> Here we go. Finally, another CBs just spawn. Let's quickly take care of this boy. Hopefully, this one gives us the damn fist. And CBs down. Oh, 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 yo, 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 we actually got the fist. We got the fist second try. This is crazy, bro. I was expecting to wait hours for this thing, and we ended up getting it second try. All right, now what we got to do is we have to go over to Dark Arena. Let's equip the sound fruit. Reset my stats once again because we have to match the level of the boss. Here we go. Boom, boom. And with that, boys, we are about to spawn this next raid boss. The third one down. This Dark beard. Ooh, wait, damn, he spawned right on top of me like that. Look at that. Look at it. It went dark and everything. Look at this. Bro has the same amount of health as Whitebeard. I'm pretty sure most of the raid bosses have that same amount of health. Luckily for us, though, we did get sound one of the spammiest fruits. And we also have this temple meter, which helps us deal more damage. Unlike Darkbeard, this guy has no despawn time. You could just stay here and keep fighting him forever. That boy ain't got nothing. Nah, nah. Damn, damn, damn. Hold up, hold up. Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Bro, that one ability got us down to 3,200. Darkbeard is actually giving us a lot of trouble right now, bro. We just gotta keep going, boys. We gotta keep going. This is only our third raid boss in. If we end up losing on this, <laughs> This is not going to be an easy video, bro. For Thesimo, Symphonic Radiance. The spam is paying off, boys. He's at 128,000 health. We're almost there. Bro's almost dead. I'm so lucky this man don't have a despawn timer, bro. I've been fighting this dude for 10 minutes. I'm not even joking. If I had to pull that sound. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yo, 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 yo. Dog, that is insane. That is actually insane, bro. There is no shot we died in the third raid boss. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell my boy in chat. Yo keep him that is crazy though for the second boss we end up having to give away a permanent sound at the end of the video <sighs> That's crazy. All right, all right, my friend got him. My friend kept him. My friend kept him so he doesn't despawn. Let's finish the job, boys. Let's finish the job. Symphonic Radiance and Dark Beard down. But at what cost, boys? At what cost? We ended up losing on the third damn raid boss. If y'all had any doubt of how hard this challenge was going to be, this should remind y'all that this is not easy. But with Dark Beard out the way, we only have two more remaining raid bosses in second C, and that is the Order boss and the Cursed Captain boss. Both of which, compared to Dark Beard, I ain't really worried about. Fourth pack, though, boys. Let's go ahead and get this fourth pack open. Let's get it right on. I hope I get a really good fruit for this one as well. Who is this? Is this Zeph? Yo, okay, okay. Can't do anything with... <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy right there, bro. Uh, this does nothing for us. And we get Alkaji. Ooh-wee. Yo, okay, that helps us. That helps us. Okay, last stop, last... <laughs> Yo, nod. So this doesn't help us in terms of fruit, but for a full art, that's fire. But we did get Alkaji, so that means we are going to be using the ice fruit. All right, now, in order to spawn the law boss, go to this little building right here here and at the top you'll see this npc named arithmetic or arithmetic or, i don't even care about what his name is okay anyways you talk to him <laughs> You spend a thousand fragments for a microchip. All right, you see that? We got the little microchip right there. You know what I'm saying? Now we go to the top of this building up here. Go into this little mini area right over here. And then you go ahead and click it. And the order boss has just spawned. Without further ado, let's get this thing started. This one has slightly less health. So you guys can see he only has 256k. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go to pack him up, though. The only issue with the law boss is that he does despawn after like seven minutes. So we got to be careful with that. Bro, we have to chill. We have to chill. We have to chill. Bro, we have to chill. Bro, my, my health. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to use Angel V3. got to use Angel V3. We got to run and we got to run for our lives. We got to run for our lives, bro. <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't fair, bro. <laughs> oh my God, dog. There's no way we died twice in a row. This, ladies and gentlemen, is tough. We got to call on the big guns. We got to call on the big guns. Yo, bro, I need your help. <laughs> I ain't say I had to solo the raid bosses, bro. All right, just wasted another thousand fragments. Got the next chip. All right, round two starts now, bucko. Round two starts now. You better pray, order. You better pray. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Got my Buddha friend with me. This time we ain't dying. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Yes, sir. Hit him with that glacial storm. Yes, sir. Got him. Got him. Got him. I want him to death. I want him to death. Hold on. Boom. Yeah, you thought you were safe, huh? You thought you were safe, huh? Now you got to worry about two people. It ain't so easy now, is it? Yes, sir. Glacial surge and bro's dead. <sighs> Not that it matters much because we did lose the first time, which you already know what that means. Next raid boss, though, is the Cursed Captain. Now, I'm not going to lie. This one can get a little annoying to spawn. Basically, he has a one third chance to spawn every night. But how you know he spawns is this message will appear on the screen. A shiver runs down your spine. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and get the fifth pack. Fifth pack. Let's hurry up and get this thing open and see what fruit we get. Sanji screaming and crying. <laughs> that head doesn't help us. We get one of the little Skypean girls. Zoro. Doflamingo. String. So if we get nothing else for this pack, we use string and then we get baby five we get this guy and last but not least this guy so we're going spider all things considered is a very good 
pick. Spider has very high damage. And all right, it's about to be nighttime finally. Let's see if he spawns first try. And he didn't spawn. Another server hop, another night, but the spawn. And he also didn't spawn here. Okay, third time's a charm. Come on now. Bro, this game is trolling me. Finally, I got into a server with Cursed Captain. All right, bet, 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 bet. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, let's just go ahead and just make quick work of this boy. I will not die to this guy. I promise you that. One of the benefits to Spider is I have really long ranged abilities. I can keep this guy at bay pretty easily with all my abilities like this. Watch for just spawn. Wait, wait, it's 40 meters away. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. It's right there. It's a smoke for. Oh my god, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. All right, let's just keep fighting this guy then. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at his health just chunked down right there, bro. 160,000 health. We almost got him to half. Boom, 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 boom. Let's hit him with this. Hit him with some cursed katana abilities. Yes, sir. We ain't taking no chances with this boy. Boom. Overheat sniper. Boom, 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 boom. Got him right at half. No, he despawned. What? How is that on me? Oh, my God. I don't know, I'm honestly going to count that because I would have had him dead anyways. How did he despawn? It says right here on the wiki, the raid boss despawns when the night ends. Night hasn't even ended yet. We still got like a, a good two minutes left of night. Nah, I'm counting that. I'm counting that. That got to have been bugged or something, bro. Well then, with Cursed Captain taken care of, that is the last second C raid boss. And now we're moving up to the final C in the game, third C. And the first boss of third C we're going to face is the Rip Indra boss, the creator of the game. But also to summon him, you need what's called a God's Chalice. And well, to get the God's Chalice, there's two ways you can get it. You're gonna either wait four hours and randomly get through spawning in a chest, or you can fight what's called an elite pirate, which has a 1% chance of dropping it. But obviously we've got another pack to open to decide our fruit. So what, this is like pack number six. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see what we get, boys. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get this random girl from Dress Rosa. We get the guy with the pointy head again, which we can't do anything with. We get Viola, or Violet. I forgot her name, bro. She's from Dress Rosa, one of the, the one with the clairvoyance. We get Odin. Oh, Okay, that's a WR. That's WR right there. Also can't do anything with that though. Taito. Oh, we get dragon. We get dragon. Yo, I'll take that. I'm taking that. So first things first, we have to try to go get a God's Chalice. So we're going to go to Castle on the Sea and talk to this elite hunter. And then we're going to see if there's any elite pirates. He said, we heard news about DeAndre roaming around, finding capture and we last seen near Hydra Island. Okay, so that's where there's going to be an elite pirate. And then when we kill them, he has a chance of dropping the God's Chalice, which is what we need. So he said he was on a Hydra Island. He should probably be over here then. Yep, right over there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let's just make quick work of this boy. This should be easy. Boom. Fire shower. Heat wave beam. He's already almost dead. I brought about half health. One more hit. Six realm gun. And he... Okay, never mind. He's not dead. I got... I guess I underestimated him. There he goes. Okay, we got XP. We got Hunter Cape. No God's Chalice. All right. No one usually gets it on their first try, though. So let's just go ahead and fight some more. Five hours later. And all right, boys. After our nap and four hours of waiting, we got a God's Chalice. Finally. I ended up just getting it through the chest. I was not about to farm those uh, elite hunters that entire time. When you have the God's Chalice, you have to put it right here on this little pedestal before you do that you need to get some colors so the first off let's go on the top of the building a sea castle let's tap this one right here there he goes green now we need to go to mansion talk to this guy color specialist pure red i think that's the one we need now we have pure red there's gonna be another uh little tab over here to press right here there we go boom now let's go back to mansion and i believe the last one is snow white right here snow white tab is gonna be all the way over here on the right side and you just have that and then boom we're ready okay so now i gotta go back to dragon because we pulled dragon from that let me reset my stats once again i'm gonna put 2000 in each because the very next raid boss has 2000 stats three two boom oh any voice without any further ado let's get him let's get him this boss is gonna be very difficult boys i'm not gonna lie now, i don't think rip Indra has any despawn time rip Indra's moveset is not that hard he's just a guy that has a dark blade he does have two forms though when we get him under half he's gonna go ahead go back to full form and get even stronger oh my god bro he has so much damn health bro this is crazy two minutes straight already he's only at 319,000. oh my gosh this boss fight is taking so long bro so damn long any minute now he's gonna transform to a second phase Oh, there he goes. He just transformed the second phase, and I just got V4. So I'm popping it. I'm popping V4, bro. I'm popping V4. Yeah, sir. Pack that dude up. Pack that dude up. Boom. Let me go full dragon form. Get that damage reduction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's right around half. He's right around half. We got this, boys. We got this. Oh, my God. I'm getting low. I'm getting low. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on. Hold on. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Oh, my gosh. My health is so low, bro. This boss just started heating up. He started hitting those like new moves like twice in a row. Okay, let me hit him with these wombo combo. Boom. Fire shower. Boom. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I messed up the entire combo. He wait beam. Oh, my God. He just despawned, bro. I thought Rip Ranger has no despawn time. What? Back to back this happened. Curse captain, then... <sighs> 
I can't count that one. I can't do it. Yep, according to the wiki right here, it says he will despawn after 10 to 15 minutes. Well, I didn't die, so we're not gonna have to give away a permanent dragon, but I do have to refight him. All right, boys, I managed to get into another server with someone who has a chalice. He said, activate all three colors, I'll spawn. Say less, say no more, say no more. That was actually kind of quick, bro. I messaged the Discord to try to find this because I was not about to wait another four hours. Okay, that one's activated. Oh, all, all, all colors are pressed. Go spawn quick. Okay, there's so many people out here. I'm, I'm not, I'm just about to go to dragon. I will say it is super laggy in here. So I do not know. Oh, wait, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Bro, that was so close. That was so close, bro. I don't know what was happening. It's so laggy in here. Okay, Rippy just went to second phase. That quick. Sheesh. Okay, okay, fire shower. Boom. Let me get over there. He wave beam. Fire shower. Let me throw this out. He wave beam once again. And there we go, boys. There we go. Got the Rip Idra boss. That oh my god, these boys are attacking me. These boys are attacking me. These boys are attacking me. Dog. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, now we finally got Rip Idra out the way. We don't have to worry about that major boss. The next boss, though, is gonna be also tough to spawn. The Soul Reaper. Y'all know the deal by this point. We have to open ourselves another pack. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's see. What is this? Is it the Maxim ship? I have no idea who this is. And then we have is this Hordy Jones on Fishman Island? Zoro's nothing happened moment this guy the fisherman guy oh that's a cool card but I, I don't know who that is oh kizaru 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 and rayleigh okay so we're gonna use lights so kizaru it is light fruit all right so in order to spawn the soul king what you need to do is you need to get something called a hollow essence from this guy right here which only has like i think like a one to five percent chance to drop and that's where our issues arise because if you talk to him right here he'll say you can only purchase up to 10 times every two hours and what do you mean by purchase well basically when you kill npcs on the haunted ship island you get bones and 50 bones equals one spin you can only do 10 spins every two hours. So yeah, I'll do the math, bro. If I don't get it within these 10 spins, I got to wait two hours. And then if I don't get it within the next 10 spins, two more hours. So this could get crazy. But aside from the spin, I only even have 42 bones. So we got to grind up those first. Lucky for us, every NPC on this island drops bones and they're pretty easy to get. It just takes a lot. Like you can see, I got three bones right there. So let's just go on a quick little training montage, boys. All right, all right, all right. We're at 500 bones, which is the max you need to be able to do 10 spins. So let's go ahead and go over Soul King. Let's see if we get it, boys. Let's see if we get it. All right, Death King spin number one. What do we get? We rolled some money. Okay, that helps us not at all. All right, let's do a next spin. Also rolled some money. Okay, no problem. We still got eight more to go. Let's see if we get money three times in a row. Okay, this isn't looking good, boys. This is not looking good. Okay, we still got seven more. We can get it. Two, 10 minutes to two times the XP. Why is that even an option, dog? What the heck, bro? It switched over for me getting money just to two times the XP. More money again. Okay. Oh my God. I don't need money. I got 16 million, bro. Give me the damn hollow. We only have three purchases left, dog. This is the we, we just zoomed through those purchases. Oh my god. Two more left. Two more left, boys. Come on. We can get fragment. We're getting everything else other than what we need. Come on, please. Last spin. Last spin, boys. Last spin. And we get some fragments. <sighs> We're about to waste two hours, boys. Psych, I'm about to hit up some of my friends and tell them to come spin for me. <laughs> what y'all thought? I'm about to wait two hours here doing nothing? Hell no. Nah. A few moments later. Well, my friend didn't end up responding, so I pinged my Discord asking them if they could help me roll. All right, we got three people here about to roll. Let's see if anyone gets it. If we don't get it off these three people, like that's 30 rolls, that'd be crazy, bro. Damn, yeah. Steel said he got nothing. Okay, still got two more left. What did he get? Did he get it? Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, I'll say less. Let's go ahead and put it. Let's go ahead and put it in the flame. There we go. Soul Reaper spawned. Soul Reaper has spawned. Let me tell you boys let me solo i need to solo this boys for the challenge i need to solo this boys for the challenge boys we got the soul king right here he only has 260,000 health so this one i don't think will be as hard as the other ones oh yeah boys oh yeah boys we already got 60,000 health down this one's about to be a breeze boy this one's about to be 10 times easier than the rip injure boss get him there with the hand of emperor boom light speed destroyer he's already almost at half health get him with them combos get him with them combos i don't even be using life like that for real bro he's got less than 100,000 health left let me keep him long range let me keep him at bay let me keep him at base so we can regen we can regen a little bit all right we almost got him though boom Boom, Life Seer Destroyer. This should kill him right here. Boom. And GG. Easy. Pack him up. Now that we have the Soul Reaper down, there are only four raid bosses in the game remaining. Cake Prince, Doe King, Terror Shark, and Leviathan. Get into this next pack, though. This was a different card pack. I, uh, I ordered a few different ones. I don't know what this one will include. Let me see. Oh, these cards are different. Oh, we have Law. That actually kind of sucks for us. I do not want to use Open. Okay, let's see what else we get. Luffy eating a pizza so we can get rubber. Luffy again. These are different cards. Wow. 
Wow, these are a lot different. Okay. The boa. Oh, we can use love. Yo, that, that car is kind of <laughs> sick, yo. <laughs> yo, chill out in the comments, bro. Chill out in the comments. All right, I'm not going to lie. Out of all of these, I will choose love because love's not too bad for grinding. All right, now let's spawn the next boss, which is the Cake Prince. What you need to do is you need to defeat 500 enemies at the Chocolate Land or in the Sea of Treats. But the area you go to is you go to Cake Land right here, and this is the area where you have to defeat the 500 enemies. So you see right now, we have the maximum amount, 500 more enemies. So we got some work to do, boys. We got some work work to do. All right, let's see how many enemies I need left. 2022. Okay, we're making good progress. 155 left. Almost there. These are the last three enemies right here. Drip Mama, we've defeated enough enemies. And here we go. A dimension has spawned. Let's get it. Let's get it. A 711,000 health. There's no way I'll be able to solo this. I need help 100%. Let's get him. Let's get him. Boom. Let's pack this dude up. Let's pack this dude up. I don't even know what's going on, bro, but we're fighting him. We're fighting him. I'm going to be honest. I can barely even commentate. I don't even know what's happening right now. Or he's at 500,000 health. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Boom. Right there. Irresistible attraction. Get him over here. Hit him with the god team moves. Boom. He's already at 490,000 health, boys. Already at 490,000. This is not one of those bosses I'd be able to solo because he does have a despawn time of 10 minutes. Boom. Boom. 290,000 health. He's almost done. I told these boys when he gets to 100k health, let me solo. I want to see if I can solo him at 100k health. He's at 137,000 health. I'm about to start soloing him in a little bit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now's the time for me to solo him, boys. Now's the time for me to solo him. Boom. Oh, yeah, we got this, boys. We got this. We got this, boys. Get off my best friend. Get off my best friend. Yes, sir. We got this, boys. We got this. Oh, yeah. Let me set up. Let me summon another best friend while I'm at it. V4. Get over here, bro. Kneel before me. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. And Cake Prince down. I knew as soon as we got love, that was going to be a solid choice, bro. Three raid bosses left, boys. And for the next raid boss we pretty much have to do the same exact thing we just did only difference is to spawn doe king you need a god's chalice so <laughs> y'all remember that struggle we went through earlier we got to do that again but i ain't worried about getting a god's chalice right now i'm worried about what next fruit we'll be using against doe king let's see golden crab arm what the heck this other ugly bum right here again is that gar prime garp or that's not even prime garp that's just old garp <laughs> too bad he doesn't have a devil fruit oh shadow gecko moria shadow that okay okay we can work with that we can work with that now it's not exactly the best for grinding don't get me wrong wrong but at least we got something there's no shot bro i just did an elite pirate and i got a god chalice that's crazy bro that's crazy all right now with this god chalice in order to spawn doe king we need to turn into a sweet chalice so what we got to do is we have to go to chocolate land right over here we have to go to this person right here sweet crafter and then we have to give him a god chalice and 10 conjured cocoa i'm pretty sure i have conjured cocoa yep got 99 of them i don't even know why i have 99 of them but basically we just turn it into him and there we go we have the cake chalice now we got to go back to cake land they said they got the 500 enemies to zero all right we're ready let me go ahead and equip shadow let me talk to drip mama and he's gonna say we have defeated enough enemies do you want to open the portal now let's do it boys let's do it a dimension worthy of a god has spawned you guys can see it's different text at this time he has a 1.1 million oh my gosh yo yo this was gonna take us much longer to defeat bro this was gonna take us much longer yo 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 yo, yo. where's everybody at where's everybody at where's everybody at there we go oh finally finally these boys came these boys came for help not only does he have a lot more health he's like 10 times stronger than the other one and he has the awakened moveset of doe as well so this guy is quite a bit stronger okay 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 get him there boom corvus torment matter of fact hold on hold on let me get this leech let me get this leech yeah let me get a little bit of health regen let's get him with this leech move all right we're full health we're full health now i was just full a second ago now we're eight. Oh my god this boss is crazy bro Five hundred thousand health he's at half Two hundred sixty thousand health we almost got him. We almost got him. He's under 100. He's under 100,000. All right. This should be the last hit right here. Boom. Corvus Torment. One more hit. One more hit, boys. One more hit. Nightmare Leech. And G. G. Sheesh. The next boss we have is Terror Shark, which is actually quite a few levels below the last few raid bosses we fought. So this one's going to be pretty easy. Or at least it should be. That all depends on what actual fruit we get. Because if we get a bad fruit, this, this could be very difficult. And we get Luffy. So that's rubber. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rubber is actually potentially the worst thing we could have gotten to fight Terror Shark. Now, I'm not going to for this one i'm switching my race to shark because otherwise i'm most likely going to die to drowning damage now in order to spawn a shark terror it's actually pretty simple what you do is you get a boat right here you spawn it and then you sail out and go to a dangerous three to six zone and he has a small chance of spawning all right we're in danger level four which means terror sharks can now spawn there we go terror shark right here we got it boys we finally got it can i even damage this thing that's the question oh i can damage with my m1s okay hold on boom let's get him there get him my god he moves this thing is so damn annoying bro Boom, boom. Bro, don't know what to do now. He was just sitting there taking it. Uh oh, oh, hold on, hold on. He's getting me kind of low. He's getting me kind of low. Everything's so chaotic right now, bro. Hey, hold on. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Hit it with that smash. Boom. Then there we go. Sheesh. Okay, okay. So that one was a bit anticlimactic. It was pretty easy. Let me go ahead and reset and get back on land. I can't believe we actually just did that with rubber. I, I thought we were gonna die 100 percent But ladies and gentlemen, over one day of grinding and 10 bosses total has led us to this final one. The final boss is also the hardest one to spawn. The Leviathan. Now to actually get a Leviathan to spawn is 
you can see right here, you must gather five or more players in exploration group. After you've gathered five, you come on top of Tiki Outpost to talk to this NPC right here named the Spy. You're going to give him bribes and he'll give you clues as to where the Leviathan is. This is where the problems arise though. Because once you're out in Daedra level six, you need to find something that's called a frozen dimension, which only has a rare chance of spawning. And based off of my bad luck in the past, this might be tough. All right, boys, we got the server with enough people. You know what that means now. We're moving on to the final pack. I actually need to get a good fruit from this one. Otherwise, this is going to be hard, boys. We need to get a good fruit from this. We get Sanji. Okay, not a devil fruit user. We get Zoro. Also not a devil fruit user. Law? No, please no, please no. And then we get our... We're going to use control for the last raid. That is crazy. That is actually not fair, dog. All right, now that we got that squared away, let's go ahead and do the bribes. Let me bribe this guy. We got to bribe him multiple times. And there we go. He said the Leviathan is out there. Go find it before it causes more destruction. All right, let's go. Let's go. Now what we need to do is we just need to go out to a danger six zone. And then the frozen dimension just has a random chance of spawning. Well, it hasn't spawned yet, which is not the best sign. But sometimes it can take a while. So we're going to keep sailing. We're over 9,000 meters out at sea, boys. I, I don't think it's going to spawn this time, man. We might have to do a server hop. Okay, since that first run was a fail, we got a new server with a new crew. Let's redo the bribes. All right, here we go. One last bribe and i think the leviathan should be out there the leviathan's out there all right bet i'm hoping i'm praying that we get it this time all right we're entering zone six second take second chance to get the thing to spawn yes sir boys yes sir we got the gate to spawn easy hold on hold on let me equip control once again right, let's get it started let's get it started the final boss boys leviathan yes sir only thing that stands in my way of finishing this video is him let's get it let's get it boys now this guy has a million health but what you need to do is you need to fight these little segments i can't even hit it with any of my moves. There's nothing to get rocks off of. Wow, bro. This is toxic. This is toxic. Bro. Let me do this. Let me do this, boys. We got to help in some way. We got to help in some way. Can I get this ice? Oh, we can get the ice. We get uh, ice. Bet, 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 bet. All right. All right. Let's get this segment down. Let's get this segment down. No complaining. He just lost like 250,000 health right there, bro. When you defeat each segment, he loses a lot. He's at 562,000 health, which means he just lost another segment. All right. All right. Let me see if I can hit this one. Bro, why does this segment keep moving, bro? Stop moving. Another segment down. Now all we have is just the Leviathan left. All the segments are done. I'm just sitting here getting carried the entire time, bro. He only has 120. 28,000 health left. We almost got it, boys. We almost got it. Okay. Boom. Got him there. Hit him with one rock. Yes, sir. I'll take it. I'll take it. Soul Shaker. And Leviathan is dead, bro. That is every single raid boss completely defeated in one video while we are using cards to decide our fruits. All right, we're going to go claim this Leviathan heart real quick, but I haven't forgot we did die twice in the video. We have to give away a sound fruit and an ice fruit. Not bad considering how hard these raid bosses are. All right, easy Leviathan heart. All right, now I've joined the public server. Let me ask who wants a free permanent ice. Y'all know the deal. First person that says me will get it. Gigs Juan said me. There you go, bro. There you go. I know this ice is about to get you. Use. This man's 12.5 million bounty. Put that thing to use, bruh. Who wants a free permanent sound? Someone in chat named Ziola said me. Okay, I got you. I got you. Luffy 5021. Here you go, bro. Here you go. Enjoy your permanent sound, bucko. Now, if y'all enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to click the video on the screen.